Hey, my loves, I'm here to tap into the Cancerians vibe and relay the messages spirit wants you to hear most at this time, Cancer. So if you're ready to receive the info, the clarity, or the confirmation that spirit has for you, definitely make sure that you're tapped in by hitting the thumbs up button below, okay? Welcome or welcome back to the Cancerian vibe. I am she, the boss lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me, you guys. Any of the information that you may want to know about me, the channel, booking a personal or reading with me, working with me one-on-one, -on -one, all of that good stuff can be found in the description box below, you guys. Um, if you didn't get the information off of the description box below or my website, Boss Lady B Tarot, it's not real, y'all, okay? So be careful of that. Um, but I just wanted to hop in. Like I said, I'm tapping into the vibe. So hopefully, you, I'm gonna give you a second to go ahead and tap that thumbs up button. So make sure that you tapped in, okay? But I wanted to see what messages come up for you cancer at this time what you're needing to know most at this time thank you spirit for clear and accurate messages for cancerians no matter where you have cancer in your chart what message do you have for cancer spirit Okay, so look, we got, it will all make sense soon showing up. So <laughs> it feels like cancer. <laughs> and I feel like this is kind of a continuation from that energy when I tapped in, into your vibe the last time. And it was kind of, you know, giving a little depressive or a little down. Um, it could even be a little chaotic. It's giving very much emotion. And, and you know, it was funny because I was going to go into a little rant. But I was like, let me just go ahead and get into the cards because I know I can run my mouth. But definitely, y'all, y'all may be feeling the emotions this week i had did a little short yesterday because yeah um the sun is in pisces okay it's pisces season so um and then the moon is moving we're getting ready to have a full moon the moon was actually in cancer yesterday so you may definitely be in your feels cancer if you're feeling this energy don't feel like you're crazy um because yeah the <laughs> the tides are definitely moving but you're gonna it's gonna all make sense of why you feel the way that you feel why a certain thing has to happen i feel something too spirit is saying it's gonna come full circles all right Right? remember it says at the bottom of the deck remember many of the clouds casting shadows aren't real so there could be something that is not making sense there's something that you're seeing that looks a lot bigger or a lot worse than it really is the way that you may be perceiving it or viewing it it's a lot worse than it really actually is but i feel as though it's all gonna make sense to you some clear so you are gonna receive clarity about this um soon too it's not gonna take forever what message do you have for cancer um so look you will be surrounded by people with different agendas cancer it may scare you away but fight it you have this okay and i feel like this could be why you know things aren't making sense because you're like you could definitely be you know cancer where you know all you want to do is be loving caring um, you know, you're the mother of the Zodiac, very empathetic to people, but people could be taking advantage of that. Um, you know, you could definitely be, and I feel like cancer, this is because a lot of you are waking up to your, um, your, your gifts, your, a lot of you are realizing that you're light workers. A lot of you are leveling up. And your ability of, you know, being a light worker, you've already, you know, stepped into that role, but it's leveling up wherever you are in that spectrum of it. I feel that, you know, it's giving you being tested by people around you. Okay. And you may not be, yeah, your relationships are being tested. Just, all right. Spirit said clearly your relationships are going to be tested. So this could even be people that you're already connected with that. They could switch up. I'm just going to give it to you like that. They could switch up. It's giving it's giving something, but it's all but it it has to happen. I'm going to say, yeah, look, new um chapters require a new version of you. This uh the old version, this new version can't deal with the people that are around this old version, okay? It's time for you to kind of be open to new and better things. I'm going to pull one more so that wanted to just slide out just <laughs> don't allow a scarcity mindset to limit your success i'm just gonna put that to the side because i i didn't even really get a shuffle but it just came flying out and i caught that at um i saw 444 so definitely you could be concerned about your your stability 
the number four um, in the tarot is definitely about your stability. So you could be worried about your stability around success. You could be worried about your financial stability, your emotional stability, your mental stability. I just feel like, you know, stability is given is a word. It's the key word for me right now. Um, and you may be feeling that you're lacking it. All right. But I feel like this is a mindset. So we have to do a mindset shift, Cancer. Okay. And so it may seem odd or crazy. I even feel like too, let me tell you, yeah, because you're going to be aware, you're going to be aware and it is going to be, it does feel like it could be unfortunate in, um, in some people's experience where it's like your spirit, you're going to know, you're going to know something's not right with someone. Okay. And I feel like, you know how I say it's lonely at the top or, cause I feel like you're about to move into another level of success and the people around you, they could be a part of why you have the scarcity mindset. Because they could be a part of like trying to like almost like leech from you or take from you. But an end of a tough cycle is approaching. And I feel like this is that cyclone, this emotional time. Like it's not going to say that forever, especially yeah, the full moon is showing up right here, y'all. So it's like, yeah, you may be feeling a little ways right now, especially this week. Because like I said, the moon um, phase phase that we're in um but it it the cycle of it is ending it's it's approaching all right so it's not far off <clears throat> i'm gonna pull one more though i want to get a good shuffle message for cancer all right so look don't fear a blank canvas Use it to turn your life into a masterpiece. <clears throat> and I feel like cancer, that's why these emotions are coming up. Because I'm getting the same kind of vibe. But it's almost give, giving me like transmuting what doesn't make sense, right? But it doesn't make sense because you may not have all the answers. And that's why Spirit is saying, look, don't fear a blank canvas. And don't think that just because you have a blank canvas that you are lacking something. It's a possibility. Be open to this new possibility, okay? Um, for some of you, I'm getting definitely artists, creativity. It doesn't have to be that, you know, you literally have a canvas. But I do feel like it's something that you're creating and you it's your own masterpiece. It's something that you um, are birthing or giving, right? And so you don't want to allow, you may, you know, be kind of second guessing yourself or thinking that it's not good enough or you're not good enough or you may have this idea in your mind, you know, how an artist like has to visualize it before they put it on canvas. It's like you could have this visualization, but you haven't put it on canvas yet um, out of fear. All right. But trust, know that everything is coming together. Like I said, um, I'm definitely seeing the circle. Something's coming full circle, but I do feel like this is almost kind of like a warning to say he, the people that are going to be around you. Cause I feel like whatever you're about to experience is only going to make you stronger, but I do feel like it could be a test in your relationships, friendships. Like this could be where someone kind of almost switches up on you. Cancer. That's what it's kind of given for for somebody where, and this could be someone that you're kind of close to. This could be family. This could be love. What will all make sense soon to Cancer? Mm, see that Queen of Swords. Somebody got a little attitude. Somebody is funky. Like that energy, that vibe she has. Okay, what will all make sense? um soon to Cancer, but she's no nonsense. That Queen of Swords, she's no nonsense. And she protects herself from people too. It's like, you can't come with the foolishness. And that's why I said cancer, you're going to be tapped in. You're going to know, like, you're going to be armed with the knowledge of, um, like who you're around. Okay. What will all make sense soon for cancer? What will all make sense soon for cancer spirit? three of swords so yeah something that has disappointed you hurt you definitely could have made you cry you don't see you don't see the big picture of it and i do feel like it's between you and another person five of wands this could be some type of argument or where it's just like you're not seeing eye to eye um this too could even be where uh but i feel like definitely stand up for yourself it's like you know you may have been in a situation where you may have kind of like and i'm not calling you a coward or whatever but you you know you may have went along to get along for it to for the sake of peace 
Um, but I feel like you're not going to have to do or you don't need to do that. You need to stand up and kind of fight for yourself. This could even be in the workplace where you're having a fight for yourself. Um, but there is something that I feel like has happened, Cancer, that has made you extremely um, sad. This could definitely be betrayal in this Three of Swords, okay? Something that has hurt your heart, that has touched you emotionally in a way where, and or this could even be that these emotions are coming back up that need to be addressed. But the Eight of Swords showing up here at the bottom of the deck, it does make me feel like a lot of kind of anxiety around the mental, the sword showing up. But Spirit is saying to kind of like relax your thoughts because it's all going to make sense. You're going to see why this person turned on you. You're going to see why this situation had to end. You're going to see why, okay? Because it had to, it, it paint, it gave you a picture to paint. What will all make sense for cancer, soon for cancer? Yeah, five of pentacles popping out, y'all. You're going to realize, too, why you, okay, nine, five of coins and nine of pentacles. I look, thank you, Spear, okay? You're going to see why you were in the financial situation you were in, okay? Some of you may have even been crying like tears, like literal, literal tears about your um, situation. Let me tell you, someone is... It's about your house. That's why the 444 showed up. You could be crying tears about your house. You know, um, homes are very important to cancer. And I feel like for some of you, something was up with your, your home situation. You could have even, like, been dealing with like legal matters around your home for some for some people for some reason i'm getting that vibe but i feel like wherever you were it didn't feel like home you it wasn't that com it's not that comfortable okay you're feeling like almost kind of put out there um dependent on someone else it feels like you're in someone else's home but you're gonna it's all gonna make so sense soon why you had to go through that period of why you're in in this place where you feel like you're lacking um, I feel like, too, this is a part of your your scarcity mindset, this five of coins, because your emotions, I feel like, in this three of swords are putting you in this scarcity mindset. You're thinking, it's always going to be like this. It, like, I'm not going to be able to get out of this situation. It's almost like you're succumbing to be a victim. And I'm not trying to say whatever your situation um, that you're dealing with cancer is, you know, not... Like, I'm not trying to downplay it or whatever, because like I said, I do feel that the home is very important to cancer. And this is someone's physical home, okay? Like, where you sleep, where you lay your head at night. Um, if it's not resonating for you, take home as your body, you know, just your your domain, your space, your home, where you feel most comfortable. Um, I feel like you've been very much uncomfortable or felt like the outsider or felt like there was not enough. There was not just enough to kind of cover or protect you. But it's given night and day, okay? We go from the five of pentacles to the nine of, nine of pentacles. And you're going to see why you had to experience this time or this cycle where it felt like there was lack. But there's multiple multiplication that happens, okay? You turn these lemons into lemonade, all right. And it all makes sense. And that's why I said, yeah, you're going to, so it's definitely someone's like home situation because it feels like she's kind of outside trying to like gather her sense of peace in from someone else's place. But here it's like, you know, I'm independent. I have this stability. This is my home. This is my garden. Like, and it's all going to make sense why this cycle had to happen, Cancer. And that's what, like, and honestly, that could be what happened, what's happening too for somebody. Like, there's been some type of argument or something that's gone left with the person that you may even be living with, okay? This could be family. This could be your spouse, whatever. This could be a roommate, however it's resonating for you. But something's about to, something's about to kind of go up with this person where it could definitely be kind of painful or but um, it could be some type of betrayal. Um, but things are being bought into balance, all right? Justice is showing up here. So I do feel like um, the situation and see, even with the even with your pentacles, the um, situation is being brought into balance. Spirit, 
see all right the moon just wanted to slide out i wasn't really calling anything but the wheel of fortune is here at the bottom of the deck we do have the full moon that's getting ready to happen and i feel like you know the wheel of fortunes especially in this deck it kind of turns like you know where you're coming out of this um period of you know things are kind of raining down on you to a period of growth so i definitely feel like growth and expansion like yeah something's about to um this is jupiter energy in this wheel of fortune something's about to expand for you something that you don't necessarily see right yet it's still kind of a mystery with the moon showing up there even could be some type of secret that comes out yeah where something's gonna make sense there's gonna be the clarity around this all right what does cancer need to know about these people with different agendas what does cancer need to know about these oop yeah, five of swords, the devil is showing up here at the bottom of the deck. So some of you could definitely be dealing with a devil, a, a devil in disguise too. It's giving wolf in sheep's clothing almost because uh, with the devil showing up and when we're speaking on this energy, the five of swords too, I do feel like um, there may be a situation where you're going to have to cut your losses or like there could be some type of argument. But even like I said too, where the situation like it's raining on you, but you're moving out of that, like whatever that situation there could be a lot of anger calamity frustration whatever in that um in that chapter of your life but that's closing and you're moving to one where uh the sun is shining okay and you're gonna understand why you had to walk through that storm but yeah you could definitely be connected to someone who doesn't really have your best interest they could definitely be out for themselves um she has green eyes it's giving green eyed monster like this could definitely be jealousy cancer And you want to be careful too, Five of Swords, with this Five of Swords energy, you want to be careful of people that are do anything by any means necessary. It's like, um, I don't know too why I'm getting this. Somebody could try to embarrass you or it's like somebody could try to leak your secret or something because that's, that's the energy uh, you can get from the Five of Swords too. Six of Swords try to slide out here um, after that. So, and then the Eight of Cups. So, yeah, I see you kind of separating yourself or moving away from this. What does Cancer need to know about these people with different agendas? What does Cancer need to know about these people? All right, Ace of Cups is showing up. Four of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. So, um, Look, and I feel like this is that sun kind of shining on a new emotional experience, a new emotional connection. I feel like that's why, yeah, you're leaving, you're leaving one connection that was kind of term like chaotic, or there's some turmoil, and you're moving into a um a newness, a new emotional connection that's kind of overflowing with the emotion that you need the love that you need whatever you felt like you were lacking here i'm definitely seeing almost an uh, of an abundance of it in this ace of cups it's like this is where, exactly where she's headed with the sun peeking out um so even if the situation feels dark right now it's like the light is showing up for you at the end of the tunnel four swords is showing up here at the bottom of the deck too so you may want to kind of um beef up your meditation especially when it comes to being surrounded by people being mindful of your energy okay you may want to clear your space and your vibe and your energy once you come into contact with people clarify this ace of cups for cancer that's too many clarify this ace of cups for cancer so yeah ten of cups all right i'm um, definitely see it's like you're moving out of a situation um and so you may not you this may be emotions that come up for you cancer it doesn't necessarily somebody it will be that this is the physical thing and it's happening for you with the with the other person but for some of you this could just be bringing up memories past hurts past traumas um where you know you're reminded of how you know people treated you or even mistreated you but i feel like this is definitely where your will is turning and it's like you're getting a brand new start. Like this is in the Ace and the Ten of Cups came out. So this is definitely, I feel like, a cycle of happiness, completeness, family, wholeness. Someone could even be giving birth because this Queen of Pentacles looks pregnant in this deck. And there's definitely babies here. 
so someone could definitely be it and you know it's like when you're pregnant you you're very or you should i feel like be very mindful of the places you are the people you're around you know the energy the vibes that you're picking up and when you're pregnant you're more so in tune to that and your baby is too and it may scare you it may scare you what you um realize if you're pregnant here because there may be definitely yeah somebody's pregnant empress showed up somebody's pregnant um what does cancer need to know about this blank canvas So the four of pentacles, that's that lack mentality. That's that scarcity mindset right there. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like, um, Cancer, you want to be very mindful of your mindset around your finances right now. And I'm not telling you not to be smart, but I feel like there is definitely a, a space or energy that's really preventing you from moving forward because it's like you're holding, you're holding on for lack of not or for to believe that you're not going to get anything else or that more won't come and that really blocks your blessing all right the emperor showed up and i feel like look this is definitely the energy of being the boss of your own life okay kind of step up cancer and you see even in her hand and this it's like a blueprint of um that's what it's giving it's th so that's what i'm saying right don't fear the blueprint don't feel look don't fear a blank sheet to build your blueprint like this is the chance and opportunity to start over new or build the life that you want without the scarcity mindset okay because that's what's going to limit you being able to be um successful or you bring in something to fruition Clarify this emperor. Clarify the emperor for cancer. Ace of Swords is showing up. Yeah, Queen of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, um, but the Ace of Swords, I'm definitely seeing a breakthrough where uh, Cancer, this is definitely that, it feels like this new cycle. And so you definitely may have this idea of how to uh, move forward on, on your blank canvas or on your blueprint, okay? This is definitely, I feel like, a, a sense of breakthrough here too, where it kind of comes together, where it's that full circle moment. There's some clarity in this Ace of Swords. Clarify this Ace of Swords for Cancer. Let's just see what um shows up. Ooh. So look, learn new things. It will help you in the future. So definitely in with the Ace of Swords, um, air energy, intellect, definitely. So it makes sense to, for some of you, you may be like learning for a new uh, position, learning something for a new position or learning a new skill. This could even be because it's the emperor for your own empire okay there's something that you need to learn that you need to be learning now because it's going to help with uh in the future and this could be what you're thinking you're lacking okay but i feel like you get the clarity or the idea to move forward and kind of learn okay of course there's ups and downs on the on the journey all right but don't be trying to be in control of going up and down in this journey it's like you know it's not going to be a steady ride all right so it shows up again be patient be patient trust the way everything is coming together for you all right know that you are protected you're safe you're provided for cancer that's another message for you there i'm gonna pull a message from your angels a final message final message for cancer spirit see okay but that was that grace and Ant oh okay and see it showed up so grace and antoinette this energy of kind of um it does feel like there's going to be maybe conflict or even resolve there may have to be resolve from a situation where you have to see the other po person's point of view all right but i do feel like also to be cautious look deeper into the situation with another person like trust your instincts around this other person or other people because people may not have like they may have ill intentions or it's just like they may have their own agenda you want to ensure that everything's on the same page that you are everything's balanced especially if you're in a connection or a relationship 
Cancer. A final message for Cancer, though. I'm going to see if one will just come out. Final message for Cancer. All right, so we got victory. Omega is showing up. Victory, your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. So whatever you're desiring, it is coming to fruition. And that's what I'm saying. It's manifesting, but you could be blocked. You could be slowing down your manifestation. All right. Definitely hear confirmation at the bottom of the deck. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. You're protected. I'm, I'm watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. That's this Ace of Swords. It's like, look, it almost gives like, look, God got his eye on you. Okay. And this Ace of Swords. It's definitely the time. Now is the time. All right, Cancer. It's like you have victory. Okay. Whatever you desire, let's see. I'm going to read the additional message for you. Um, but it says, congratulations. You have been chosen to, to follow your divine guidance and the universe is flowing in natural rhythm with your decision. When you listen to the messages that your heart whisper, you swim in natural synchronicity with the tide of your life's purpose. Stay relaxed and confident and keep moving forward with happiness and grace. If along the way you notice problems occurring, then it's time to stop and center yourself, all right? When problems occur, it simply means that you're temporarily out of sync with the universe's rhythms. There's no need for analysis or shame when this occurs. Simply pray or meditate, breathe deeply, and wait until you feel strongly about your next move. Your victory is inevitable, all right, in this situation. So you need it, um, not worry that temporary problems will thwart your desire. Whatever happens is supposed to happen, all right? And when it happens is the correct time. Release your doubts to heaven and rest assured that a happy outcome is yours. So that's why I'm saying even if things feel tumultuous or there's turmoil, everything that's happening, Cancer, even the things that may have you in this energy where you may shed a little tear, where it may hurt you, it may hurt your feelings, it may affect your pride, it may feel like betrayal, whatever happens, it's meant to happen and it's going to make sense why it had to happen in the future, okay? It's going to it's gonna in the near future too. You're not going to have to wait long for this to kind of come full circle. It's going to happen and I feel like definitely it has to be exposed with the moon kind of showing up. This um, full moon that's happening in the sign of Virgo on the 24th. Definitely make sure y'all are tuned in for that. We're going to dive deeper into that energy, but I'm going to leave this reading right here, you guys. I really do hope that it resonates for someone and you found it helpful in some way. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe to the channel, you guys. Talk to me down in the comments. In the meantime, in between time, until next time, love ya!